Welcome back to the Crooked River in Eastern and another Crooked River production. So today I'm going to go ahead and get the this temporary fascia put up, get things ready for the pour of the resin. And I'm going to seal the edge of that all up and uh, so we have no leaks or anything. So let me readjust the camera and we'll get started. So as you can see, I'm going to have, a, it won't really be a gap, but I'm going to have to really bring that in. Give me a little bit of a gap there where I didn't get the scope to mold all the way to the end. I'm going to fill that with some caulk, uh, silicone caulk, and get that all squared away. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so I put a couple clamps just to hold it in place. I drill a couple holes, put some screws in. It's nice and snug. Okay, not the best angle, but you can kind of see in here. In this case, you can see some of where I'm going to put that caulk. Okay, I'll just try to show you real quick here. Oh, look at that, I got it all nice and uh, caulked up. Okay, so it's got to dry, even a day or so to dry. In the meantime, I'm working on uh, mixing up some colors in that. Okay, so now that this is all dried, I did go ahead and mix up a bunch of different sample colors. Um, I was having a really heck of a time trying to match the backdrop guys uh, to what was making me happy. I think the problem is, is um, there's a lot of different colors going on, especially with the rapids. The white caps are kind of throwing the colors off a little bit. So what I thought I would like, I'm not liking. And I think I've decided on one that I'll be happy with. Uh, it's going to be kind of this color. It's more of a, while it's got a lot of green in it, it also has like a little tint of blue, a little tint of gray to it. So I feel pretty confident about this one. And uh, so I'm going to go with that. I did mark down the ratios of colors that I was adding to the resin. Um, I'm going to come back. I'll show you real briefly just how to mix this stuff up and how I was doing it, and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. So stand by, let me readjust the camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are at my messy workbench. Um, this is the one we're gonna try to go and see if we can match again. So what I'm using, as you can see here, is the Biotex Light Pour On Resin. It's a two-part resin, or epoxy, sorry. Um, I have some left in these bottles. These are, I say to warm them, just put them in some warm water for five, 10 minutes. Uh, I, I've done that, so I marked, I marked these cups at 10 milliliters a piece. Uh, it is pretty like, sticky and messy, so I am going to um, put on some gloves. I'm gonna pour equal parts in. Slow down there. It's pretty good there. That is the hardener. And this is your actual resin. Again, I'm just trying to uh, give you guys an idea how to do this. I've already decided on color and all that. I just want to show you basics so you're gonna add these together you have a decent amount of working time with them you know 
once you get these all combined, you want to mix them up for two minutes. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me mix for two minutes, so I'll get these combined and I'll start mixing them and I will come back. All right, guys, there we go, all mixed up. The only thing you just wanna make sure is when you're stirring it up, you wanna scrape the side walls. You're getting everything nice and mixed. Okay, so I have the formula here. I'm gonna kind of follow it and see what uh, we come up with. Um, I'm just gonna start adding all the colors that I used and we'll just mix it all up at once and we'll see how close it gets. Tell me if I actually did this, uh, this correctly. Truth. Let's see what we got here. It's a little kind of funky there. Psychedelic. All right, guys. So there you go. Not too bad of a match there. I'm pretty happy with that color overall. This one has to dry. See, it's still, you know, liquidy. This one was, this was the test piece I did the other day. I just wanted to make sure that I can re, you know, it wasn't just a fluke that I got to this color. I wanted to re-mix it, you know. Okay, so I think um, I'm gonna leave this for part one. I hate to do that, but I'm gonna make a part two of the actual pour. Um, now that I got the color the way I want it, I showed you how I did it. Um, just so you know, this took a long time. I'm very particular. The colors were very hard to match. So this is all samples. They're all gonna be wasted, basically. I pretty much blew through 12, 14 ounces of epoxy and, and, and you know, just what it is. Um, I needed to waste it. I do have another um, kit with, uh, I believe about a 32 ounce kit. So it's double the amount. Should be enough to do this river. If not, you know, I have the formula down. I know I can remix it now and you should be good. So with that being said, Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for part two. Bye for now.